I remember I forgot to set up my camera. I'm gonna be real honest with you too. What is it? Times nine equals 54, and then we don't really need 10. We can do it, times 10 equals 60. So now what do I do, Jody? I'm not done yet. Oh, he's not done yet. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait, because Jody's gonna tell me what my next step is, so everybody else should be caught up by this point, or getting to that point of being caught up. Okay. Um, we're going to divide what? What are we dividing? Six? Not six. She, excuse me. What are we dividing? Uh, Your name is not Jody Well. We're going to divide one divided by six. Remember, it's always the number on the inside that's divided by the number on the outside. Can we divide one into a group of six? Nathan, can we divide one into a group of six? No. So I need to extend my line. So now I say what, Jody? Not seven. Now I pulled my number over, so now it's what? No. What's that number right there? Thank you, Jody Wells. I got many of Jody's in here. 17 divided by six. All right, so well, let's see. Well, we know six times one is six, but is that enough? No. No, what's a number that's closer to it without going over? 12. 12, so I'm gonna circle my 12 just so I know that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna say, what times six gives me a number close to 17 without going over? Two. Two, so where do I put that? On top of the seven. Two, we've divided. Now I need to what? Multiply. Multiply what? Uh, multiply. Jordan, what am I multiplying? What am I multiplying up here? What? The six times the what? By the two. So what is six times two, Jordan? Well, all we gotta do is look right here. What is it? Jordan, I got many of Jordans in here. What'd you say, Jordan? 12. So I'm gonna write that down under my 17 because when we multiply it, we put it below. So now I'm gonna check that off for we have done those two steps. Now I need to do what? Subtract. Subtract. What am I subtracting, Christopher? 17 minus 12. What is 17 minus 12, Kamani? Kamani! Well, I, 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 don't, I don't read sign. I need you to tell me. Bye. Thank you. All right. So now what do I need to do? Um, Kamani. Bring down my four. What do I need to make sure I have when I say I'm going to bring it down? What does Miss Pfeiffer want to see? Kalani, what do I want to see on your paper? That arrow. So I bring my four down, and Miss Pfeiffer likes to go ahead and bring her six down. So now I've brought it down. Now I need to decide if I'm going to repeat a remainder. Repeat. I'm going to repeat. So I'm going to go back up to my top and I'm going to go back to repeat. So now I'm going back to divide. So now I'm going to say what, Jody? Um, not times. Plus. Not plus. What are we doing? No, nope. what are we doing right now? <laughs> we are doing what? 54 blank 6. You've said already, you've already said two things. Divide. Divide by six, very good. All right, so what's a number getting close to 54 without going over? 
54? What? Are you serious? All I got to do is look over here and see, oh, I've got a 54 right here. So, six can go into 54. How many times? Nine. Nine, nine times. Where am I going to put my nine? Ella, where am I putting my nine? Ella! Where am I putting my nine? Come on, you can do this. Look at my thing right here. Where am I putting it? On top of the house. I'm putting my nine in my house, but am I putting it here or am I putting it here? Next to the two. On next, the right. on the right above the four, because if we bring it down, that next number's going on top. So we said nine, so now what do I do? Alex, what do I do now? Okay, well, what's more important is that you have exactly what I have on my thing. All right, what do I do now, Camille? Um, what do I do now? I have, what do I do now? Put the picture. He's not arguing with me. He's just talking out of turn. Because I will not let somebody argue with me. Because you are smart enough to write that down like she asked her to place. I'm asking nicely. Who else is having a problem keeping up with me? Okay, I will slow down. Thank you. I will slow down. I'm sorry I just get really excited when it comes to math. I'm an excited person when it comes to division because it's just repeated steps over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You got this, dude. We're gonna practice this multiple times today, okay? Before I let you go, just don't even just watch this one, and then the next one I will slow down, okay? Don't even worry about finishing writing it, okay, Alex? I don't want you to stress over it, okay? Okay? Because I feel the stress. I feel it radiating off of your body, and it's trying to hit me and make me stress. It's the stress for me, you know? It's the eyeballs that I feel like are about to run through my, my board for me, okay? Don't stress. No, don't, don't do it. But you, if you do do it, crying's good for the soul, so you'll get over it. So. All right, here we go. What am I doing now, Gabriel? Thank you. Multiply. Maybe I just, I said my, uh, I, maybe I was just going a little too fast. What am I multiplying, Camille? Now I'm back to you, Camille. I'm sorry, I forgot. What am I multiplying? Nine times the what? Six. Stop. If your head's hurting, you shouldn't be beating it on a table, and you don't have your mask on properly, so you need to get it together. So, nine times six is what? Well, all I gotta do is look over here. Well, six times nine is, that's why I circled it. So, I write my 54 down below, and then I do what? Subtract. Subtract, 54 minus 54 gives me zero. zero. Is there anything else to bring down? Nope, is this number smaller than this number? Yes. So what is my answer? 29 remainder of zero. And if it doesn't even have a remainder, if it's a remainder of zero, you do not have to say remainder zero. 29. It is just 29. All right, let's do another one. I will slow down this time. If you need me to just... Okay. You know, do the... Give me the whoa if you need me to slow down, okay? Uh, I'm, our, I'm not going fast yet. You just wanted to woe because you like to woe. That was a, a no woe. Well, I haven't gone yet. I can't slow down until... Where's your paper at? Why are you not writing this down? No, I need you to write it down. That's not being an active participant in my class. She's not coming today. She'll be back on Thursday. Why? She's, she had her. Why? 
because she's not here. That's all I can tell you. Ain't none of your business. Now put your mask on properly. All right. 169 divided by four. I'm gonna stop right there, let you get yourself set up. But don't even start dividing yet. Get your steps written down and get your facts written down. That's all you have to do and then you're gonna stop. Okay? When you get to that point, put your pencils down, put your hands on your ears. You've already written down all your facts. Oh, sorry. That's, you gotta do all my steps. You're doing one, writing the problem down. Two, writing the steps down. Three, writing your facts down. And then you're stopping. And on your pencils, you should be focused. Uh uh, I'm taking them facts down. Y'all need to know your multiplication facts. We're in fourth grade, we need to know our facts. If you don't know how to do it, you need to skip count. standard method for four days now. Fourteen probably. I'm giving you time to get to your steps of how you need to do it. She's trying to teach you different ways. Out. At, what, just, out. Just, just leave them alone. Just leave them alone, Miss Betty. Don't even entertain it. Because he knows. He knows what he's doing. He's smart. He's a smart gentleman.
still need a gun. I need to get into it. Huh? That's your excuse at the can wait for you. I would like to be very patient and wait for you. Okay, that is perfectly fine. I see a couple hands there. No problems at all. No problems at all. Keep going. You're doing wonderful things. It's a great day. You're doing wonderful things. It's a great day to be alive. You know, the sun's still shining with both eyes. You know, there's hard times in the neighborhood. But why can't every day be just as good? Well, because we just can't. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Take it yourself. Oh. Oh. No, because the sun's still shining. No, it's not. When I close my eyes. I feel like I know that song. Are you in the neighborhood? Maybe. There's a thing about it. A big no, so I need to say one divided by what? 16. 16. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, all right. So let's see how close we can get to 16 without going over. Let's go down my wheel. Yeah. And oh, we're going to stop right here. We're going to put an arrow or a start. I'm going fast again, aren't I? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Keep going fast. No. No. Alex, why don't you go fast? Okay. 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 Okay.
don't you come sit right here in Zymir's seat so I can make sure that you're keeping up, bud. Come on over. Come join the party up front. A front party. You need to be here in five seconds. I'm counting in my head. Four. Three. I don't. I don't. I'm not entertaining the question at this moment. I would like for you to come up here so I can keep up with, please. Thank you. Please stop tapping. Whoever's tapping, I appreciate the tapping of the trimeter, but I would like for it to stop. Okay. Well, we don't have our we don't have a fax down. Yeah. So, what well, are you ready? No. Stop beating your feet. Okay. You should be at least at this part with me. You should have your 16 underlined. Well, uh, on your problem. Don't worry about the facts right now. You need to worry about having this underlined. Because we're in our problem. Thank you. Now I say 4 divided by 16 is what? So what times 4 gives me 16 or a number closest to 16 without going over? That would be four. All I gotta do is count. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put my four up top. I have divided. Now I need to do what? Multiply. Multiply. What am I multiplying? Four times four. Four times four. Which is what? You with me still? You should have a four on top of your thing. If I write it, you write it. 16, now I need to do what? Subtract. Subtract, 16 minus 16 gives me? Zero. Big old goose egg, but am I done there? No, you have to bring down the nine. I have to bring down my nine. And I gotta show it with an arrow, so I'm gonna write my nine down. And I'm gonna say, what, Jayana? What am I gonna say? Hmm? It, is that what I'm going to say? Mm -hmm. What am I going to say? Am I repeating or remaindering? Um, uh, Shh. Jayana's the only one speaking. So, now I'm going to... I'm going to go back. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to repeat. Uh, now what do you do? Uh, now what do you say? What did you say first when you Okay, so you ask yourself a question. What question do you ask yourself? First I said, do you repeat a remainder? So do you repeat a remainder? Okay, so what did I say? You repeat. So now I'm gonna go back to my beginning of my equation, which is my D. My beginning of my step, my D. So now I'm going to say what? Gabriel, what am I going to say? Divide. What am I dividing? Gabriel? Nine divided by four. Well, I can, I can, what times four can give me a number closest to nine without going over? One? Two, right here, eight. That's why it's good to have your facts written down. All right, so where do I put my two at? Benjamin, where do I put my two? There's a lot of Benjamins, but only one that actually has that legal name. Up top, so I'm gonna put my two up top above my nine. Are you just so emotional to see me again? to get to hear this wonderful teaching. This is elite teaching right here. So now what do I do, Alex? What do I do now? You don't know, great. But let's, let's help, let, you know what, let's help our fellow friend. After I divided Jordan, what do I need to do? I've already divided, now what do I need to do? What's my next step? I've done this, now I'm gonna do what? Multiply. What am I multiplying, Julia? Uh, yeah, got to pay attention to me. 
Four times what? Two. Two. Four times two is eight. Julia, I'm going to move you up closer here soon. If you would like to come sit on the floor, you can. Or if sitting right, why don't you try that desk right there, see if that'll help. Try Amari's desk for today. If so, I'm going to switch you and Amari's. And then I'm in there. Worry about you. So now what do I do? Let's see, who haven't I called on yet? Charles, what do I do now? Because you just blurt out. Nothing against you, but you know the answer. So I'm trying to challenge others. Are you watching me, Jayana? Are you looking at the corner of my room? <laughs> Do I need to move you up closer too? Maybe? Maybe kind of, sort of? Well, who, who did I call? Charles. Charles. Subtract. Subtract. What am I subtracting? A nine, um, an eight. Nine minus eight, which gives me what? One. So now, do I have anything else to bring down? No, I don't have anything else to bring down, so I stop right there. So that means this is my what? Remainder. remainder. So it is 41, 42 with the remainder of one. So I'm going to write 42 R1, and I'm going to put a box or a circle around it. So that's why Miss Pfeiffer will know that is your answer. No. Because I still have people that know nothing about what we're doing because they're not paying attention. They're playing with everything in the daily. Well, and I would like to do one that has a zero on the inside. So we're going to do. No. That's going to be hard. 309 divided by 2. Set it up. When I say set it up, I mean write your facts down and write the steps down. Don't do the problem yet. Gabriel. Yeah, I called you out. Sorry. That name drop is really easy for me sometimes. So, set up my problem and then stop. Ready, go. Yes, Jayana, what can I help you with, ma'am? Absolutely. Absolutely. I want you to write all your facts down. Which facts are you writing down, Jayana? The two's facts. Very good. Make sure it's not under the thing so you don't get, um, put it right beside it. It'll just be easier for you, okay, bud? Thank you. Wes Christopher. What do you want to say? When you're finished. I want you to put your hands on your desk like this, like you're a proper school child. Hands on your desk like this. You're proper, prim and proper. You're very distinguished, dignified. You're very dignified. What, buddy? You're only going up to 20. You don't even have to do 20. I had an Ingram toe now, I can feel it. Mason, you with me out there? You doing this math? Wonderful. I see you nod the head. Me too, bud. Me too. Because they're not talking. He just typed into the chat box. Because they don't tend to talk what they want to say. They type it. That's not a jab towards you. Oh. Only to some. Just to name a few names. I could go on. Starts with a G, a C, a K, a A, a C. <laughs> hey, have you finished writing your facts and have you written down the steps? Woo! Have you wait write down the steps up top, way up top, not way up top, but like 
DMSBR. Daddy, Mama, Sister, Brother, Remainder. Daddy, Mama, Sister, Brother, Rover. 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 Well, I'm sorry. It makes you want to learn math. Yes, Benjamin. Have you seen those dances where they do this? And yes. Dance? Yes. The Irish folk dance. I was going to say Irish dancing. But I think I get it Well, it's not time to eat yet. All right. Have we finished our steps? I should see everybody being proper schoolboy and girl sitting at their desk nice and tall because they are done with their... Thing. You know, in the olden days, back in when North Carolina was first. Shh. I'm the teacher and I don't want to even talk that much. Back in the days when they, they would separate the boys and the girls on each side, and if they were not sitting like this, they would come over and whack their hands with the yardstick or a ruler. Yep. It happened. Yes, Julia. What, Julia? I'm sorry. There's four people talking, and only one of them has the name of Julia. And that's what I was thinking of. That's what you were thinking of. Wonderful. No, 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 no. I'm glad we were making a connection. That was in second grade. We were doing like uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, make them sit in the corner with the pointy hat on. Yep. Yeah, it's called a dunce cap. It was a dunce cap. All right, here we go. Let's let's set up my problem. What are my steps? D M S B R. My D goes where? Up. My M goes where? Down. All right, now what do I need to write down? My facts. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now we're ready to move on working out our problem. So I'm going to say what first? Alex, what am I going to say? I'm doing my D, my divide. So what am I dividing, Alex? Uh, two times. Not two. I'm not multiplying yet. Three. Three. Times two. Not timesing. Divide. Divided by what? Two. two is what? Three divided by two. Well, let's look. I can go. Two can go into three. One, one time. So I write my one up top. I divide it, so I write it up top. All right, so now what do I do? Everybody should be with me. One but. So now what I do? I say two times one, which is what? Two. Where are we lost? Where are we confused? So we, okay, all right, so we divide it, so we check off division. So now we're going to multiply. No, because we're going to have to do that over again. You just put a little check beside it or on top of it. On top. Just a little. A little. Just do it. Get it? Just do it. Get it? Just do it. A swoop? Swoop it. Swoosh it. Okay, got it. Great. All right, so now what do I do? No, because how about, oh, I multiplied. Yes, I multiplied. I say two times one is two. So now I'm going to give myself a swoosh there. And then I'm going to do what now? It's the Nike emblem. Subtract. Three minus two gives me? Three minus two gives me 28, Gabby. What are you thinking? Three minus two gives me one. So now I've subtracted. I'm gonna go to what? Nathan, what am I doing now? Bringing down my what? 
The zero. I'm gonna bring down my two as well. It just helps me. Helps me know what my steps are. Okay, are you with me, bud? So far so? Okay, well, you're, you're keeping up with your writing? And my writing? Okay, well, I need you to keep up with my writing. I really wasn't asking that as a question. I was really just giving a statement of what you need us to be doing. All right, so now I say, now I, what do I, do I repeat or remainder? Repeat. repeat. So I'm going to go back up to the top, okay. back up to step one. We're, we can number our steps. Number our steps to the Lord. Yes, you absolutely do, because that's how you know what step you are on. Do it again. O, A, R, E, O, P. What's he spell? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Oh, I'm great. Look at I get and you're nice and very. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Isn't that like good job? I'm great. Like, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, here we go. So now we're going to divide again. We're going to say 10 divided by 2. Well, let's look at my facts. Okay, it is 5. So I put my 5 up top. So now I do what? Check off my division. Now I'm going to multiply. What am I multiplying? 5 times 2, which gives me 10. Then now I'm going to do what? Subtract. Subtract. 10 minus 10 is? Zero. zero. Now what am I going to do? Bring down my nine. Bring down my nine. But you know what? You're just doing the same steps over and over and over again. And you have all the information right here that you could possibly need because we wrote our facts down. So it really shouldn't be that hard. So now I bring down my two as well. And I say nine divided by two. Gives me what, Jolia? Uh, nine divided by two. Number closest to without going over. Stop moving your dots. Look at my fact. Closest to nine without going over. Well, 10 is too far. No. No. I, I know you said that, and you ain't touching me. Because you will be suspended if you cut my hair. All right, Julia, what am I saying? Two, nine divided by two is what? What? Nope. Remember, we're going closest to nine without going over. So let's look at our facts. Let's go all the way down. Closest to nine. Yes, eight. Eight. Shh, thank you. You're quiet. No, sit down. Ain't nothing gonna change what time it is. All right, so what times two gives me eight? Uh, how many times can you go to eight? One, two, three, four. All right, so two times four is what? Eight. Then I'm going to. Subtract. My nine minus eight is one. one. Is there anything else to bring down? No. Is this number smaller than this number? No. Yeah, so this is my what? Remainder, Remainder one. So my answer is 154 
with a remainder of one. Put a box or a circle around it. All right, I'm gonna give you three problems to work on. Ah, uh, we'll do four problems to work on on your own. Last time I checked, I did not introduce a debate. I may just give you one, or two, or three, or four. I may give you ten. All right, let me turn over my page. I have to get another notebook. This will be sec third. That will be the third one for the year. You better come back. All right. Mm, that song's stuck in my head now. 820 divided by 4. That's my first one. And I need to see your DMSBR. Hold on. I'm, I'm not done writing them down yet. No. no. I need to see that. I need to see your facts. Second one is eight hundred and seventy divided by nine. Hold on, I'm gonna move it back down in just a minute. Give me a second. Third problem six hundred fifty seven divided by six. We'll see. Wait, how is, where, why is there three? There's actually going to be four. No, but it's one, two, three, four. Oh, my God. I know. Tell me about it. He knows. A hundred and forty-four divided by two. All right. Here are your four problems to do at this time independently. What are you doing? Stop. Just put it around your ears. You're going to break it. Just put it around your ears. Ms. Redmond, will you? You're going to break it. Now that you've pulled it, it's not going to be tied anymore. No, no, we're not doing that now. You were just fine the way you had it all morning. We're not changing it now. You're gonna break one of the things and you don't have another one and I don't have one to give you. You have another one? Okay, well, we're still not gonna sit here and be trying to tie it back. Alex, work on your problem, please. You need to be doing something. Oh, you do those four problems? You ain't paying attention to anything I've done, so I'm gonna give you different problems. Hold on. Where's your homework for Miss Cole? Miss Card Trip, Miss Cole. And don't say at home, it's probably in your book bag. Britt, where's your book bag? I left it at home, I didn't leave the paper in my book bag. That is not a responsible student. You need to be a responsible student. We're in fourth grade now.
Do, mm -hmm. Do those and then I'll give you more. Mason, you working on these problems or you're sitting there staring at a screen?
Yes, you do. Don't even say I don't know, because you ain't even trying. I don't care. I don't care. You're doing another one. Do this one. number can't go into it, then you just put a zero up top. Thank you. 